tell you the story of Fatima al Fihri. When we talk about Fatima al Fihri, we are talking about education. We are talking about Muslim women education. In fact, we are talking about Muslim women mathematics education. Fatima al Fihri, when we talk about Fatima al Fihri, we also talk about university education, not, not Harvard University, not, not, not Cambridge University, not even Oxford University. We are talking about the world first university, Al Karawini University. She founded that university. She founded that university 857 uh, before Oxford, of course. So, um, these Muslim women. Fatima al Fihri was born 800 AD, some 3000 kilometers from, from Baghdad, where uh, the, the golden, uh, Islamic Golden Age where was taking place. Uh, so, North, North Africa, uh, Tunisia. So, she was born in, um, in uh, Karawan, a place called Karawan in Tunisia, and, uh, and her father's name was uh, Muhammad al Fihri. So, Muhammad um, al Fihri was not a rich person, so he, in order to kind of uh, find some opportunity, he migrated from uh, Karawan to Fetch, from Tunisia to Morocco, from Karawan to Fetch, the second largest city in Morocco. And he started business, and soon he became the most, the second most richest person in the Fetch. However, a few uh, a few months after uh, Fatima married uh, uh, Fatima's father and Fatima's husband, they both died. So they left. Fatima's father left a big fortune for Fatima. What Fatima did, she used this fortune, she used this money to build a mosque, Karawin, Karawin Mosque. Which later became the world first university, and um, and uh, and it took uh, so the the construction is started 839, and it took about 18 years. In this 18 years, she she fasted for 18 years until the last day of the construction. So 857, once the university um, university founded, she enrolled in the university. She enrolled in the university because she has a hunger for education. So she um, she uh, she had two types of uh, two types of education: Islamic education. She learned uh, fika and Islamic jurisprudence from her father, Muhammad Al Fihri, and she also learned mathematics from Al Qura Al Qura Al Qurayin University uh, as a as a student. Uh, so she devoted her entire career to promote uh, the, 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 the education, especially to, to the Muslim women. When most the other Muslim women saw her uh, 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 studying at, at, at uh, al Karawin, uh, they got inspi inspiration to do the same, which paved the way for Muslim women education, by the way, in the Middle East. Um, so, this is why we celebrate her legacy. Uh, around the world, people around the world celebrate her legacy. Alberta University give a scholarship on her name every year. The European Union give a scholarship on her name every year. The Tunisian government also give the scholarship to promote math and science education to other women. So, again, when we are talking about uh, Fatima al Fihri, we are actually talking about education. We are talking about the university education. She is the first woman. Uh, it could have been men, but it was women. Women uh, was the founder of the world first university. <laughs>